Kau main Michael Learns the Rock, mm-hmm. seperti tadi kita bilang Michael Learns the Rock tahun 97 yang tadi kamu bilang yeah. Albumnya yang Nothing to Lose itu went worldwide Dan sekarang mereka kembali lagi, they've got something new They do, dan pastinya nih kita mau kasih tahu interview kita sama Michael Learns the Rock And we got it for you, check, check it, it out, out. Kila right here, oh my god, gue seneng banget nih ya guys hari ini karena gue bakal ngajak kalian untuk ngobrol-ngobrol sama band salah satu band yang legendaris banget. Pasti lagunya juga sampai sekarang pun masih sering kamu dengar. Siapa sih yang nggak tahu? Michael learns to rock. How are you guys? You guys are doing good. We are so good and we are so happy to be back in Jakarta. Oh my god, me too. We got we we are so happy to have you guys back here. So um. In this episode, we're talking about the songs that is perfect to be listened to with our loved ones, you know, for couples, like romantic songs, and we think that your songs are perfect for that. Do you agree? Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Thank you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Just something oh, that just happened. happened. Yeah. We, we we started out having a lot of rock songs, and then we made one ballad in the very beginning. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you know the song. It's called "The Actor." Yeah. And suddenly, oh God, it became song. a big hit here in Indonesia. Yeah. Actually. And then we thought, "Wow, we maybe we better play that ballad." And then, yes, yeah, she started writing a lot of other ballads, and then suddenly, just went that way. Where did you get the inspiration from? Well, yeah, traveling, and and mm-hmm. uh, we get a lot of inspiration from uh, traveling, and and actually meeting and playing for our fans. Mm-hmm. Um, We were in uh, Kuala Lumpur three days ago, and we played two sold-out out concerts, mm-hmm. uh, and that is really a big motivation and inspiration for us. Uh, and then we get to meet a lot of beautiful people around the world, so we just really, and we love music, so we really love what we do. Yeah, and we love your work so much. Is there any like personal experiences that you put on your song? Maybe the first, the first, the first song was actually uh, about that we actually didn't, we did not have a car. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, you do. A lot of them. Yeah. wrote the song "Child" for his mm-hmm. newborn daughter. Oh, that's so That's quite sweet. Yeah. yeah. That's an amazing song. I love that. And <clears throat> by the way, I have your latest album here, 25. It's such a great concept, though, because. Uh, it was your 25th anniversary, right? Yeah. When it was released, and uh, it has 23 of your greatest songs plus two new singles. By the way, the two new singles are also amazing. Could you tell us a bit about? I don't know. Um, what, what? What? How could you guys make this? I mean. Yeah, I mean, where did the idea come well, from? Well, actually, it took 25 years to record that album. <laughs> yeah, it took a long time to do the songs, but then when we when we kind of saw it in the calendar, we looked up and said, wow, we've been here for 25 years. We thought we wanted to make a little bit special things for our fans, you know, and uh, we did some remastered versions of our first five albums, studio mm-hmm. albums, mm-hmm. to be released for fans, also with extra material on it, so people mm-hmm. could really kind of hear some demos from the old songs and all that. And then when we did that, we, we made the 25 album mm-hmm. because we, then we just collected what we think was the 23 best of our of our hit songs and uh, and recorded two great new songs, uh, Silent Times and Call on Love, which just has been a thrill, just working with new songs. And actually, they were written by other songwriters. So we just tried something completely new for this one, which was great. And uh, I really, we are very proud of the album. Yeah, and uh, in Indonesia, it got platinum. Congratulations. I heard about that. that. Thank you. Yeah, we love it. We love this song very much. And it's quite a funny story that I found here about how Yasha and uh, Miguel or, cool, uh, met in high school. Yeah, that was Yasha and me. Oh, yeah. you guys. Okay, that's, so that's where you guys started all this? It is. That's amazing. High school. Like, how many years? Yeah. Okay, could you tell us a little bit more about that? <laughs> What happened was that actually I was in the same class as Yasha uh-huh. for two years in high school and uh, suddenly I found out that Yasha, he was a piano player. I went down to hear him play. 
in a bar. He was playing the piano there, and I thought he was really good, you know. And he started writing his own songs and asked me if I wanted to make a band with him. And then we just found Mikkel, you know. We knew him, and we just started the band. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love this um, album so much, and okay. <laughs> Next year we will make uh, we will make one album uh, called Twenty Six with the same songs on and one more. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I I actually bought that. Just kidding. <laughs> no, we we have to come up with some new songs now. Yeah. We know that, and uh, we're actually working on on four four brand new songs, and we are going to release two singles within uh, this year actually. At, at least one single this year, a new single in next year, and so we are continue. We are working on new songs. Okay, we're so happy to hear that. Okay, to all of MLTR fans in Indonesia, katanya mereka mempersiapkan empat single baru dan minimal this year mungkin ada satu single yang dikeluari. Kita tunggu aja ya dari mereka. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a great experience. And I'll be waiting for your next single. Yes. Okay, go back to you.